In this video, you'll learn different ways of creating particles. We'll start with an easy method and proceed all the way to a bit more advanced. So stay tuned, enjoy the video. Let's start with the first method. Create a new composition. I'm going to name it particles 1, 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second and click OK. Once inside here, you need to create a new solid. So right click, new solid. Make sure to set the color to white because that's where the color of your particles will be. Click OK. Then go to the Effect and Presets tab and search for CC Star Burst. Apply this to the solid layer. You'll see the particles appear, but now we need to adjust a couple of settings. Increase the scatter to say 500 to get a bit more space between your particles. Speed, the higher the value, the quicker your particles will move. So set this to 0.5 for now. So the particles flow slow, then set grid spacing all the way to 1, that'll decrease the overall size of your scene. You can leave the size of 100, I usually set it to something like 70, and if your particles still move quite fast, you can decrease the speed to 0.2 in my case, and that's how you quickly create particles with this effect. Now let's move on to the second method, create a new composition by clicking here, let's name this particles 2, same settings, click OK. Again, once you're inside here, right click new solid, but this time set the color to black because white will not work here. Click OK. And then go to effects and preset tab, search for CC rainfall. Apply this to the solid layer. You can already see the particles. Now let's adjust the settings. First bring opacity all the way to 100 to see the particles nicely. The drops determines how many particles you'll have, so the higher value, the more particles. Let's leave this at, say, 1000. The size, of course, adjusts the size of your particles. So let's leave that at 3. Doesn't really matter that much. For the speed, yeah, you can decrease this, say, to 1000. So your particles are slow. They're not moving too quickly. And this is how you manipulate the direction of your particles. So wind. If you set that to a positive value, you'll see the particles will flow to the right. And if you set this to a negative value, your particles will flow to the left. So let's set this to 600. So particles will flow to the right with a slight angle, really nice and slow. You can bump up the variation of your wind to give your particles a bit more randomness. And of course, spread means exactly that. The higher the value, the more spread out your particles will be. And if that's the effect you're going for, you're free to choose that. I'll set the spread to 10. And opacity controls the visibility of your particles. If you decrease the opacity, your particles will be dimmer. Set this to 100. And of course, also you can change the color of your particles at any time. And that's the second method. Let's get to the third one. Our third method will be a bit more advanced and serious. Let's create a new composition, name it particles 3, same settings, click OK. And again, right click to create the new solid, set the color to black and click OK. And go to effects and presets tab, search for CC particle world. Apply this to the solid layer. This is probably one of the more complex effects you find in After Effects, but that's fine, just follow along. Expand producer, physics and particle settings in effect controls panel. Let's start from the beginning. So the birth rate pretty much determines how many particles you'll have. The higher the value, the more particles you'll have. Let's set this to 0.5 for now. Longevity determines how long your particles stay visible for. Let's set longevity to 8 seconds, so our particles stay visible for a while. Position settings move the source of your particles around. This little thing, that that's where the particles are coming from, and you can move that around at any point. Let's actually set it to 0, to exact center. Radius is on the other hand, control the size of your particle source. So if we increase the radius x, you can see that the source is getting bigger. Let's set it to 0.5, so it stretches all the way to our comp. Same for the y, 0.5, and same for the z to give our scene a bit more depth. And that's what we have at the moment. Let's keep adjusting the settings. Set animation to direction axis. Now you'll see the particles are moving to the right. We're going to fix that. Let's adjust velocity. Set it to zero for now. Our particles will flow down. That's because our gravity is set to a positive value. Let's set gravity to 0 0.1 so our particles are slow and gentle. Also set resistance to two so they are 
even slower and smoother. So that's what we have at the moment. Let's set extra to zero as well. And if you don't like the look of your particles, you can change it at any point. So go to particle type and you have different types here. One of my favorites is faded sphere. Select that and you, this is what your particles will look like. You can of course try out different types and see what works best for you. Then go to birth size, we can leave that. For death size, let's set this to 0 0.5 to get a bit more variation going. Set max opacity to 100. And of course we can change the color. For the birth color, you're free to choose any color you like. I'm choosing this light blue. Click OK for the death color. Again blue, but a bit darker tone to create a bit more contrast between the particles. And this is what we have at the moment, and that looks quite boring. Let's add a bit more direction to the right. So increase velocity to 0 0.2. That'll give your particles a bit more direction, they'll flow to the right. And well, we could further increase the velocity to give our particles a bit more angle to the right. And that looks fine, better than the stale particles flowing down. There are a lot more settings here that let you customize your particles in different ways, but I'm not going to go into details for the sake of this tutorial. Let's actually go ahead and improve the particles. Go to Effects and Presets and search for Glow. It'll be under Stylize, like a regular Glow. Add this to the solid layer. This will help punch out the particles, as you can see. So this is with the Glow, and that's without the Glow. Now let's select our Glow and press Ctrl D to duplicate the glow effect. And for the second glow effect, let's set glow threshold all the way to 100. And also increase the glow radius to say 300. We could further improve our particles by adding noise. Right click new adjustment layer. Then go to effects and presets tab and search for noise. It'll be under noise and grain, regular noise. Apply this to the adjustment layer. Then set amount of noise to 12% and then check use color noise. This is like a really subtle change, you might not even notice it at first, but trust me, this will make your particles look a lot better and a lot more interesting. And that's pretty much it, we've covered three different methods of creating particles, ranging from an easy method to a bit more advanced, and if you like this tutorial and learned something new, Please leave a like, let me know in the comment section down below. Also feel free to subscribe to the channel of course to support me and stay tuned for more tutorials in future. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.